Hello everyone, my name is Jasurium, and I bid you all a warm welcome back to Let's Play Destroy All Humans. In the last episode, we started off the game by going to Turnip Seed Farm, doing the first mission, and collecting some brain stems. And in this episode, we are going to find out who the new Miss Rockwell is. But first, Pox has a little story for us. So, one moment. Congratulations, new mission available. Yes, but first, story time from Pox. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. So yeah, that was an interesting story from Pox. Anywho, or anyway, let's go to the hangar and- Roswell, Rockwell, that's the last time I take direction from a Cryptosporidium. That is racist. Anyways. Oh my god. Can you not right now? <sighs> Sorry about that, a Microsoft notification popped up on my computer. But anyways, <clears throat> anyways, let's start with Rockwell. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Um, okay, I got the picture, but what for- oh. Okay, so this is the first time where we're introduced to the alert levels of the game. And basically, the alert levels is basically when the humans become aware of our presence. So if we expose ourselves too much, if humans see our true form too much, the... The police show up, then the army, and then the men in black, or whoever they are, majestic, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, in some missions, you have to keep yourself disguised if your true form is seen by anyone, or if there's too high of an alert level, the mission's over, you fail, you have to start over again. So, yeah. Keep these alert levels in mind. All right, let's enter the fairgrounds and, whoa, what the hell? Um. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna ignore what's happening in those cars and just move on. Oh, hello. Alright, so we are going to look at one of these people and disguise ourselves. Of course, the disguise requires concentration. So we must scan people to ensure that our disguise does not fall. 
All right, so what do you have to say? I gotta find me a policeman, then a construction worker, and then maybe an Indian. I'd make me a barbershop quartet like no my mind, sissy. Goofy, what are you doing in this game? Watson Elvis. Must be a new type of 10 gallon hat. I wanna slap an Elvis on my head. Okay, that's a little weird. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, so basically we gotta mind read these people and figure out the location. What we need is the dumbest, weakest willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to scan them all. So, yeah, what we gotta do is we gotta scan the minds of these fairgoers and find out where Miss Rockwell is. And that's pretty much it. What do you have to say? She might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. Check out them cantaloupes. Good out of America. Okay. This woman seems to be onto something. Okay. Who wonders the movies? Keep scanning the humans. Oh, hello. Orgasm? <laughs> I don't want to know. All right, so last person we have to scan is the mayor. All right, mayor, don't mind me. Hello, what do you have to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Town's doing great. Business is moving. Hope is on the way. Yada yada yada. Let's just barrel through this. I like Mike. He's no President Huffman, but he sure knew how to win a war. Okay. All right. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. Of course! No. What? Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way is more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Ah, uh, Killjoy. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. Um... She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Alright. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll do it your way, Pox. Alright, so we gotta find Miss Rockwell and hypnotize her, and hello, what do we have here? Alright, alright, Miss Rockwell, follow me. Oh no, oh no, 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 my concentration, my concentration, oh my god, that was close. Not so fresh, feeling. I don't want to know. A house in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. What more can a man want? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we know, we know. Shut up. Shut up! Just shut up! I am the law! Says he, I am the law. All right. Scan you! Oh, give me a home with the buffalo rock. All right, enough of that. Liberace? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Of course. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What's happening? Oh God. Well, what do you think? Respect. 
I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, Pox. You don't have to tell me twice. I know what I gotta do. What? You told me to get in the saucer and now you're chastising me for humans being aware of my presence. What is wrong with you, Pox? The more people become aware, the more chances there's food and peace, and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. You're one to talk! You're the one who told me to get in the saucer in the first place! Oh god! Destroy the carousel and the stage. And you know what? Because I'm afraid of heights, let's get rid of this. Rawr! All right. And with that. And I'm surprised that Ferris wheel is still standing. Mission complete. All right, so what does our little newspaper have to say? Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fair ground left in tatters by freak storm. Also, Miss Rockwell has been committed to Shady Pine Sanatorium. Sanitarium. <sighs> Gotta love... just... Yeah, see one line as something, but... It's something completely different. And we get a newspaper from the Rockwell ca Gazette. Not cassette. Gazette. Anyways, in the next episode, we are going to go back to Rockwell. So until then, my name has been Jasirium. This has been Let's Play Destroy All Humans, and I will see you all next time. Till then, ciao!